let's talk about it, or aka topic whatever you want to talk about uh, this topic is going to be Call of Duty versus Battlefield now if you haven't known Call of Duty and Battlefield have been going on for like the longest time they're one of the top biggest FPS games as of right now besides kinda Counter-Strike Counter-Strike is pretty big too uh, but Call of Duty and Battlefield have been a war that's been going on for like a long fucking time now and usually Call of Duty mostly wins, mainly sale wise. But the new Call of Duty is coming out, it's called Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And let me tell you, a lot of people weren't happy. On YouTube I believe it got over one point near five million dislikes, I believe now. I'm not sure how many dislikes. I know it got over a million though, which is insane for a game, you know. That's telling you that a lot of people do not like the trailer. Now Battlefield got a lot of praise for their trailer, which was pretty crazy, but pretty cool. Uh and I know some people are already like dick riding, I guess you can say. Battlefield one, everyone's saying how it's gonna kill COD COD. How it's going to kill COD and I'm just sitting here like you never know. Like I, I don't get me wrong. I don't think of it. Affinite Warfare looks great already, anyway. But you still have to go with, you know, the gameplay. Gameplay still got to come out. And whenever the gameplay comes out, that's when I'll make my final decision. As of right now, it's just going to be kind of mixed. You know, I'll wait for the gameplay to come out. Both of them came out with a trailer. Affinite Warfare kind of looked kind of okay I guess you can say it didn't look fantastic in my opinion I don't know if I'm going to buy it mainly because of that reason uh, but Battlefield of course is likely going to first Call of Duty will likely outsell Battlefield that's how it usually goes no matter what mainly because I believe a lot of people are going to buy it for, for just Modern Warfare 1 Remastered which is $80 and they're not selling it on their own which kind of sucks if they said it on their own I would have bought it but I'm not sure yet it kinda just depends $80 for a game just to get that game and just remaster like I wish they'd make a backward compatibility for the Xbox one kinda like they did uh, well actually they never have they're probably gonna release them all each remastered cuz they are kinda money horse can't lie about that but of course Call of Duty will likely outsell Battlefield, even though Battlefield is, I believe, World War One style. And Call of Duty, of course, is fucking futuristic style, which kind of sucks, because I don't really like the futuristic styled games. I like the old style, or not really old style, I really don't care what kind of style it is, as long as it isn't futuristic. But you also can't really shit on them a whole lot, like, the game's been development for years now. They can't just say fuck the project, you know, and cancel it. They have to keep it going. I mean, I hope this is the final year for it. And hopefully Sledgehammer, even though I don't think they'll likely release another, hopefully not another futuristic game, will likely come out. Uh, hopefully with a more modern or old-timey, because Battlefield 1 is coming out with a, uh, Oh shit, grenade. Uh, coming out with, of course, well, World War One. And graphic-wise, the game looks great. It uses the real engine, which is really awesome. Uh, the only thing that kind of worries me is how is the downfall going to be like to start. Now I know a lot of people might be going like, "Oh, you're just like kind of like dick riding Modern Warfare." I mean, not Modern Warfare, Call of Duty. I have played Call. Of, I mean, well, I have played Call of Duty. I'm playing it right now. Um, but I have played Battlefield, I played Battlefield Bad Company 1, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, and Battlefield 4. I played a little bit of Hardline, even though I didn't really care that much for it. Hardline was kind of okay and kind of out there. I just played Battlefront, which was kind of meh. It really wasn't that great in my opinion. There wasn't really a whole lot of guns, and I think that's what kind of killed it for me. But of course... Like I said, a lot of people are likely going to buy Call of Duty just to say, like, I got the remastered. Which I heard it's also coming with zombies, which is kind of cool, I guess. Just hope it's not futuristic zombies. That's why I didn't like uh, 
Advanced Warfare zombies because I thought it was futuristic. Treyarch to me will always be my favorite zombie company, mainly because they're always not too futuristic. I mean, they are futuristic there and there, but not like killer futuristic. That guy's lagging. Not killer futuristic, which is kind of cool, you know. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the topic today. Um, I'll probably release another video of the next top, not topic, uh, next time when they released. I was final one. 32 and 17 ain't bad though. But I'll probably release the next video when they release both gameplays. You know, Call of Duty did kind of release gameplay. Battlefield did release a little bit of gameplay in the trailer, but not a whole lot yet. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for the topic today. If you got any more topics to talk about, I'll make sure. Next topic might be about Madden. I've been kind of thinking about that game or maybe something different. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe. And I.